Welcome back to the channel, I hope you're all well. Now I've been away for the past week or so, so I'm going to get back into the swing of things with some tips for today's lesson. And we've got some pretty good action actually, we've got a good listed contest over at Epsom and I'm going to have a couple of selections in that race. But we're going to start with my nap of the day, which does come at Wolverhampton actually. It's in the 7.35 and I think incorrigible at 15 to 8 is a pretty good bet for me. He's Trained by James Horton, who has had a terrific start to his training career. He had his first winner yesterday at about 12 o'clock, and he ended the day with three winners. So he's had the perfect start. And this horse is just had the one run. He was second at Doncaster in what I thought was a pretty hot looking novice stakes race. The winner, Maldum, well, that one impressively yesterday at Kempton, beat a horse called Saga in impressive fashion. Both of them look very good horses and I think the form of this race at Doncaster will work out very well. He travelled nice and strongly into the race and he probably was hampered a bit as well. The horse on the right of him was drifting left into him, forced him towards the far side rail and I think his one PJ McDonald he wasn't too serious on board him. I think there's a lot of improvement to come in this one. He was a little bit green as well so there's a lot of improvement to come from him and at 15 to 8 he is a bet for me against the favourite who Tom Mark Wand rides for William Haggis. That's had the two runs. First one was a very impressive third and then it went on to just win at Redka. Now that does have to give away a penalty and I always think it takes a very good horse to give away a penalty against one that's had a very good start to his career in Encourageable. So I definitely think Encourageable at 15 to 8 would be my nap for the day's race. Now my second selection, my next best, this comes over in France at Marseille in the 217 and it's Namaste at 4 to 1. I think it's a very fair price indeed. He runs in the race, it's over one mile five furlongs and this horse has had two recent course and distance runs over this course and distance in March. His first one was second but behind a horse called My Lenny who was probably a very good winner on the day and his last one was behind uh, beaten by the favourite who does reappose here and it's called Plontier. Now that horse did win quite impressively but I think the big factor for me is the additional way that Plontier carries this time. It's an extra £6 which I think might be hard to give away to this horse. In Namaste who didn't have the most experienced jockey on last time in fairness. He wasn't the strongest in the start saddle, but he's got Christophe Summelon on board this time round. That's a very positive jockey book, and it's the first time that jockey's ridden this horse, and he always adds a couple of lengths. Is that good of a jockey? And Plontier carries a race weight of 10 stone 3 as well. With the jockey, the jockey can go as low as 8 stone 5, so there's going to be a lot of dead way on top of that horse and I think that might just anchor him and I think Namaste is one that will track the pace and they'll have probably the run of the race which is important at Marseille it's a very tight track it somewhat makes Chester look like a galloping track it's very tight so you want to be close to the pace no better jockey on board and at four to one he'd be a pretty confident next best selection for me now my final couple of selections come in the 220 at Epsom. It's a very interesting nurse. We've got some very hot prospects as well. Nahini is the 6 to 4 favourite, and he was very impressive last time. Might be a little bit of a monster for the three year old season ahead. So might Mighty Ulysses, who was impressive on his debut at Yarmouth, being off a long time, and he does have to improve again. But I think I'm going to take on the field here that take on the short priced horses with some at bigger prices and at one my first selection will be Inverness who just had the two runs and comes back from a break. Now this is a stiff task on the return but his form actually leads very well. His debut was behind a horse called Coribus, trained by Charlie Appleby and William Buick. I'm sure you've heard on heard of him. He went on to win impressively a group three at the end of the season at Newmarket and was second in the Judman Oil Lodge stakes behind Royal Patronage who was a good horse and Colibus chucked the race away that day so the form of the debut was behind a very good horse also Saga in behind that's rated in the 90s so another very good horse so he was probably a bit hot race for him on debut but he took a very big step forward next time race towards the rear 
at Goodwood, but came with a very strong late run, suggests a step up in Tripwood suit, and that was in a class two, and I think there were some good horses in that. I think the form of that will work out in time. So trained by Charlie Hills, Kayla and Schumach in the saddle, 16 to 1. He would be a bet for me on good to firm ground as well. He's got that form where some others, including the favourite, haven't raced on anything quicker than good to soft or on the all weather so there might be question marks over some of them will handle the ground Inverness will definitely either handle the ground and at 16 to 1 is a bet for me and I'm also going to have a little bit of an each way play on the rank outsider Sheer Rocks trained by Eve Jaws Johnston Houghton I should say Charles Bishop takes the ride they're a combination that do very well at Epsom in particular so they're definitely one to keep an eye on and this is a horse that one on debut overturned a horse that was 1 to 10 in last hurrah. That was a very good debut over seven furlongs on the firm ground. Stepped up to the mile last time and did very well giving away a penalty to Firth of Clyde, who was rated 83 at the time. So it, does, it doesn't set the greatest standard. This horse only has a rating of 88, but I think it just might be a little bit better in time as well. I think that. He probably could be a decent horse in time. He steps up a long way in trip, comes back from a break. There is maybe question marks over him, but the trainer and jockey do very well at the track. It's a big price. There's eight runners, three places up for grabs. So Inverness and Sherlock at 16 and 28 to 1 are horses that happily play at the prices. So that's going to round up this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you do, please do subscribe. We're getting very close to 200 subscribers now and hopefully we can have a couple of winners to start off the week and build towards a big weekend of racing at Sandown especially. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.